Way with Walker and way with Wuffy here. One of us is being a cow today. You can see we're walking through some tall grass. And we are in a place called Wolf Swamp Wildlife Management Area. The town of Brookfield and also part of Sturbridge. It's just a kind of a random stop. Decided before it starts thunder and lightning, we'd try to get a walk in. It was close. And I've been here before, I think. I didn't, I'm sure I didn't video it or anything. I don't know what's here. But I thought it'd be interesting. No history on the name Wolf Swamp, but I'm assuming one time there must have been wolves out of here somewhere. So maybe we'll come across uh, some kind of Native American something or other. Exactly, looks like it's gonna, it's on a field, as you can see. Looks like it's just gonna go into the trees. And hopefully, there's a trail. And hopefully, we will see anything. And I'll be. I'll be picking up, picking ticks off of Jack the rest of the afternoon. But, let's get on. There's a, a house in there, is there? Hmm. There's supposed to be a pond, I think, in here. Some lovely wildflowers flower, and a black butterfly. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep going. I'm hoping that's not a house map it's, um, it's, pretty, it's supposed to be pretty wild and what we have here fence hold on Jack you got us some kind of an old fence there when I'm getting in there but there is a fence Wooden fence, I don't know how old it is. Over here we have the water feature. Come on. I know the last few videos we've been concerned with the um, old bay path trail. Don't think we're going to be anywhere near it today. <laughs> All right. Well, this was an old, well, this was an old road of some sort. I don't know if it was a town road. Yeah, we are coming up to a pond. I said I don't know much about the history of this place. And what we're going to find, I recall coming here, but it was quite a few years ago. Hold on, Jack. Maybe it was a proper road. There's no wall here. Looks like it could be there for a retaining wall kind of thing. But anyway, um, some deer track. Made sure today. What was I saying? I don't know. So I don't know about the history. I don't know if there's any houses in here. I don't know um, what we're going to find. There's a very nice wall right there. It doesn't look like I went across. Give me a minute. You can see it going up there. We haven't been out in like three days for any good walk, so I think one of us is a little excited to be outside today. Right now it's very nice out. But let's get thunder showers. Starting about two o'clock. Now if you're wondering, this is off of uh what road are we on? Oh, I can't remember. I have to get old. Oh, uh, where, where are we? I don't know. Lawrence Crossroad? No. 
Rice Corner Road. There we go. That's where the entrance is. Kind of hidden in the sign, but a little quick turn. It smells good up here. Ooh, there's a big poopy. No, come on, we'll leave that alone. Daisies. Come on. Look at all those places. Yep, there's the other way we'd whirl. Um, Better come in the late winter. It's very humid. We do a lot of hunting here, so hopefully we're hunting today because I don't have my orange. I want to see it so grown. Alright, so I'm gonna keep going. There. Look like it's never mold or anything. Yeah, it looks like it could be muddy. Ooh, here goes a block blue heron. Alright, should Josh. A little further. See what we come to. Alright, we're climbing up a hill here. I can't see the top. Mm, it is not too bad. Steep. Still haven't really seen anything. Could have seen the foundation, but it's so thick over there, there was no way I was getting in it. But we have something here. Hold on, Jack. Hold on. What is this? All right, we are following the old road. Turn it, my camera shut off. I don't know where. So, uh, we're forking the road. We took a left and then kind of curled back to the other end of that fork, I believe. There's, so, if you said, I don't know what recorded what didn't. It must be steadily going downhill. A little while now. You see something. Come on, this way. Interesting tree, huh? Um, so we had a wall. It seems to be gone. I think it cost what might have been a plant, uh, foundation, but unfortunately, I could not get at it. I wasn't going through the very thick uh, underbrush. Yeah, I think I, I was saying that the southern part of this area kind of goes up to Big Allen Lake and stuff, which the north side has been many years, but there was an old road, there was an old road that goes from goes Paradise Lane and goes over to Island Road in Sturbridge Brookfield and on the line. But the last time I went down there, there was a large um, beaver dam. It was quite difficult. Hold on a minute, hold on. The side trail here. And it's kind of difficult to get by. So I imagine it's been over 20 years now. Probably very flooded. But on some maps, you can actually see what looks like a trail or another road, not for that road, which I'm wondering if it's going to connect, it's going to, connect to this road. It would be coming from our left. There is. Well, I'm coming down here the last time I was here, so I may have. Not sure. 
Alright. Obviously we've been going down for a while, which means we're gonna have to eventually go back up. Oh, we have a crossroad. Okay. Now this looks like not just a farm road. Alright, I'm gonna shut you off so I can take a look at the map, see where we are. Alright, we're walking down this road. It's at least flat. Someone's getting bit by bugs. Kind of goes down on that side and up on that side. So I'm not sure where it goes. It does look like an old road though, although it's not, there's no walls or it hasn't been, uh, I haven't seen any uh, built up retaining walls or anything other than that. One little section with some wall. Right, we'll see where it goes. Obviously, it gets used by ATVs. Some holes up there. They're just kind of really curious as to what that marker was. It is. I don't think it's any ceremonial stone structure, but who knows? Is that a standing stone up there? Nope. Just a weird colored tree. Alright, well we're gonna ooh, go through the wall. Could be that other wall we saw. Down the hill. Crossed the corner there. Well, it was a corner. It's got the gate. Well, it's not that, uh, no, it doesn't go up the hill, it goes along the side of the hill. Hmm. We should be coming to a little pond called Trout Pond. The map in that bigger pond we saw was Cranberry Pond. We've got cranberries there. And this was Trout and Trout Pond. And how Trout Brook empties into Big Elm Lake. Okay, so we're still following that wall up there. Oh, let's see what we find. Back. Right, we're a little further up, you can see it's getting a little washed out up here, a little muddy. Now look at the map. Somewhere over there should be Trout Brook, which has probably been dammed up by beavers. Actually, I wonder if that's, I don't know if that's the one that goes to that dam I was talking about a little earlier. But I don't see the wall anymore, though. It was kind of veering up over there a little bit. See, that's where we're bend. This is where we're going. It's relatively flat. Big we'll climb on the way back, though. All right, so let's keep the... Uh, a large boulder. Over there we got the lighter. I think that's the brook and the pond. This is probably more swamp than anything else. So we're gonna keep going. See what we come to. And we'll be back. You can see it opens up here quite a bit. It's not uh, marshy. I'm wondering. I don't know who that is, and I don't see him. Top 
top of one of those dead trees, but I can't really tell. All right, let's keep walking. We can go to the end of this pond. There it is, whatever it is, there's a couple of them. Hawks, I think they're eagles. Do have eagles up here. Come on. Let's go up here. Around the, let's go around the, no, come on, I'm going around the mud hole. Anyway, what I was saying is, we're going to go up to the end of the pond, take a look at that road, see if that might be the road that we uh, have traveled on before. We also just passed another side trail to our left, heading back the way we came, but going up on the side of the hill. So I don't know if we're going to take that on the way back. All right, I can't get my dog to let me uh, zoom in on that bird. It's two of them. It's okay, bird. All right. Stop it for a minute. Keep going. They don't like us here. All right, we're almost at the end of the pond. I'm here running water over there. So we're gonna go over here, see if there's a dam. So now I get a little middle. See one of those in a long time. I don't know, that's not true. I saw a couple of videos. However, what I find extremely interesting is this is not the way I was expecting this stream to be flowing. Come on. Jack. Because I was always under the impression. Hold on. Things I do to my dog. I was always under the impression that float into Big Allen Lake and Big Allen Lake is that way and it's flowing that way. Well, let's go take a look at some of these rocks up here. Go on Jack. Go on. Now some it definitely look like they've been squared off or something. I don't, it doesn't look like it was a dam though. I'm gonna head up a little ways longer. Come here. Go further. I'll be back. I'm down here at the water. Uh oh, going for a swim. <laughs> and this has definitely been worked. Some of these rocks. See that one right there? There's a bunch of them. Don't see any indication there was a mill here. But if you look there, well, what's this? Hold on, Jack. So this looks like a brick. But that's not natural. That was shaped. So I don't know what we got here. See anything that looks like a foundation or no race? So I don't know who dammed it up and why. You can go in there if you want to. Definitely was something here. So maybe it was a mill, a very old mill. Just a little bit left. You can see a lot of these rocks. bit of a go pond in here. It's interesting because I don't see any, I, mean, I can't tell if this land's ever been worked. I'm thinking not, but I'm going to head up that way and see what we see. Come on. 
in a minute. Uh, we should uh, climb over there. All right, so this is pretty interesting in here. The road crossing, no sign of the bridge, but there's a telephone pole. And a telephone pole that goes across. Uh, Jack wants to cross, but. So the road of connect goes up that way. Very large boulder there. Hold on, Jack. It's going to be deep if you go any further. <sighs> Opening there. I don't remember coming here before. Don't know if there's a... This is an old mill site. We'll check out those. And... Very interesting. I'll look at my map, see if I can get an idea where we are. We'll be back. Come on, this way. We like the water. All right, let's go up here for a minute. Hold on, I want to find out where we are. All right, so that's the crossing over there. I thought about maybe crossing. I could get across there. Not too much difficulty. But seeing if that trail, the road, continues and goes back the way we came. You know, the side road, that road. And you know, instead, I think I'm just going to turn around probably. I don't know, about a mile and a half. This is an uphill. So this is the trail, we, the road we were on. And over there, it looks like it's just all swamp again. So this is interesting. I'm very uh, surprised. I wasn't expecting this. Again, it does not look like there was ever a mill there. There was no foundation, but it doesn't mean it wasn't one. And we'll be looking at the maps. Get a little rougher up here. And hard to tell if this uh, area was ever farmed or anything. So it was probably logged. But it does not look like it was ever planted. It's a section we're in now. I'm going to walk up to the top of this hill. And you can see over there. Maybe that's another pond. Maybe that's the beaver pond that I saw from the, that other road I was on with the beaver dam. It also has some trees that have been marked. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to walk up top of the hill. There's the open over there, though, see? Interesting piece of land. All right, so we're going to probably go to the top of this hill. I think I'm going to turn around because we are supposed to get some thunderstorms brewing about 2 o'clock. I'm not hearing nothing now, so I don't want to be caught out here. All right, I'll be back. Well, we got to the top of the hill and we decided to keep going because it's uh, Pretty, pretty flat here. We're just going to go up just a little bit longer and turn around. We're pretty high compared to where we were. That other pond, the swamp is down that way. That's not the one that has the beaver dam that I was talking about where I was on that road. Um, look at my map, there's another pond further up south here, we're heading south. So we're just going to go up this little rise, think, turn around, do some research, see if I can find a way to get in here. 
might be a couple other access points. I think they posted the other end where I came in the last time. 20 years ago, I think since then there's been some houses built. I think they post some of that area. Well, I will have to check. If not, I may be to come uh, from the other end where that trail road went out and come in this way. Or there may be some a network of mountain bike trails behind junior high school. That's not far from where we are. That may get me in here somewhere. We're gonna come back. All right, Jack, I think we are gonna turn around and head back. I don't know if I'm gonna go up that side trail or not. I don't know where it's gonna come out. I don't wanna really bushwhack today. That was so interesting. We're gonna keep going. A little further, Jack. Surprise, no walls. Never seen any walls, no houses. I know this was uh, farmed, or I thought it was. Come on, Jack. Come on. I know, we're gonna fix those after. He's got ticks on them, fortunately. But the flea collar we got them, there's a number on them, it kills them. They, they, they pick them off, they're all dead, so. Up here, I want to see what that is. Up here a little bit. This is very interesting. This is what I like. It's not as interesting as not my most exciting one, which was my last video, which hasn't been published yet. But by the time you see this, it will be where we actually found an existing uh, path. The uh, this section of the old bay path, 90% sure where I was. We're looking a little this opening is up here, and then we're going to turn around because I said I don't want to get stuck out in the thunder. I'm not hearing anything now. I don't want the radar, but I don't want to be out here. Do that. What do we got? What do we got up here, Jack? Power lines. Okay. That's good. Maybe a way to get in here. The only problem with hiking around power lines is they have a tendency to go straight up and straight down. All right, let's stop. 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 All right, so I'm gonna shut you off. We're gonna turn around. I said I don't know if I'm gonna go up that other trail or not. Uh, since we always find something on the way out, I'll put you back on. If you see anything, if not, I will uh, catch you when we get back to the truck. Okay, we're just gonna walk along quietly. We're by the pond, see if we can catch those birds. See them when they start flying. Sorry, look at my mouth. Sit, Jack. I see its nest. 
Come here. Sit. 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 Make sure I can zoom in. Look, I think this is a net nest. And look, there could be a baby in there. I don't see mom and dad. Oh, there he goes. Well, we're gonna have to look up, see if we can find out what that is. Out. Ain't happy we're here though. No worry, we're not gonna touch your babies. Come on, Jack. All right, we're heading back. Could be an osprey, I don't know. I've seen those before and I've seen them be a little louder, but I've seen them up there on top of where the nest is. Oops, lost them. Alright, well we're gonna get going because they said there are thunderstorms coming. You're okay. Not gonna bother you. Hope your babies are up to be good. We're back at that stream crossing. I didn't see this wall before. It also looks like it's a very old road. It's not used. It was up that way. Yeah, we're gonna get some drink. You got a drink? So, and we're going back to where we came. We went up a little bit up the side trail, went up a hill, and we didn't want to go any further that way. So we, oh, so I listened to him, and we turned around, we're going back to where we came. I didn't see that wall before. I probably can actually go in. It's gonna, we'll see it a little later. But anyway, off we go. I was back to the truck, just stopped to take a look at this stone if he wants to get back. That's that stone marker. And we're going to look at something right over here for now. Hold on, Jack. There's a space there. Could be a niche in there. I don't know. We're not too far from the road, so in the parking area, I may come back in here again and look at it a little closer. And then you can see over there. All right, we're going downhill, so anyway, that's Cranberry Pond. We're almost back to the truck. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and get outside. Find out what's in your own backyard. You might be very surprised at what you find. So off we go through the high weeds and we'll be back next time.